Good football Sunday morning, everybody. We're on a little bit of a road trip today. We're heading up to Jacksonville, Florida. The Jacksonville Jaguars are hosting the New York Jets. Jacksonville, we have landed in front of TAA Bank Field. We've got our tailgate starting. We've got our Buccaneer stuff. We've got our Boomer jersey. We got the grill. We got beers. We got lots of Jet fans all over. Start with little Bubba Burgers. So we got three hours before game time. We got some burgers on the grill. We got some Jets fans over here. Minshew Mania tying over to the Jets. We got Jets fans behind us as well on an older variety. I had season tickets for the Jets for years and I never could find people to bring with me to the game because nobody wanted to go into freezing cold to see a team lose. This is gonna really date me here, but the first Jets game that I went to was probably sometime around 1974 or 75. I remember crying my eyes out because at Shea Stadium it was so freaking cold. But my dad refused to leave the game. When I had season tickets years later, I would torture him by bringing him to Giant Stadium when it was snowing out and there was no shot in hell for the Jets to win. We've got more burgers, and we've got some peppers and onions to go with some sausages. For starters, I'm wearing a jersey that I got in, I think, probably like 1993 or so. Boomer Esiason. I can fit into this now. And also, sausage and peppers. There's nothing else for it. Nothing complicated for it. That's your Sunday sermon. <laughs> We've made it in! Every, every third down, he's 50%. It's true, it's true. It's the first Coast Flyer cool down area. Let's go on the bus. Oh. It's literally a bus. We've got Kenny O'Brien, it may be the actual Kenny O'Brien. Mary's yelling at me. <laughs> Famous Jameis Winston in the house over here. I'm here with Drew, by the way. Go Jets. Representing Jets. I had to switch over to the. You gotta be PC yeah. over here. Gotta do a little bit. I'm sitting in the end zone, one row above touchdown. Where the area. Jets are gonna score all game. Let's see about that. <laughs> it's Jaguars ice. We've made our way in to Jets South. We're at the pro shop. It is Minshew Mania in here. Minshew lanyards. Minshew rally towels. Minshew koozies. Minshew shirts. Snapback Minshew hats. Minshew shirts in the house. They've got the cheaper Minshew jerseys. Sam Darnold, see any ghosts? There's a lot of Jaguars fans here today. Jaguars fans coming through. Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Here we go, section 124, the Riddler, a Jaguars fan. Oh my, that guy blew himself. I'm afraid I just blew myself. We're making our way out. We're to the left. Hey, Fireman Ed. We got our own fireman. The world's greatest mascot, Jackson and Bill, will now perform another death-defying stunt for our viewing pleasure. My God, Jackson Deville! That cat has a family.
Today's presenting game sponsor. And of course, it is the first in franchise history in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. All right, Jimmy, let's let the world know what time it is. And we're off. All the way. Touchdown. He's going in. It's a Jets touchdown. Come on, Jackson. It's drizzling out. The Jaguars roar cheerleaders are on the other side of the field. So instead, I will take this time to look at this cheerleader. Jaguars come in this way to score now. You can see all of the media here. Look those super jumbo lenses waiting. In a really bizarre move, they have the Falcons game playing on the screen in the corner. The Jaguars have Mr. Softy. There's got some Mr. Softy. 20 seconds left in a half. The Jets had the ball back. We figured we'd go up, check out the pro shop for a minute. The Jaguars got the ball back now. We're gonna wander a little bit. That's Mark Brunel. There's competition here with Bud Light diagonally across Miller Light. Jimmy Smith got the game started for us today. At halftime, everybody is ducking into one of the bars. This is the Bud Light party zone. Everyone can come in here and watch the game, but it is packed and super loud. This is what it looks like in here, though. And there's an equal amount of people trying to get into the Bud Light party zone. Or you can take the stairs up to the sky patio. There's silent auction stuff happening here with a wing for Bet jersey and a signed new Jets helmet. Garnum Minshew helmet. We got a Minshew jersey here. Derek Jeter and Mariano Rivera flag. Le'Veon Bell signed helmet 275. My God, here comes the Kamish. The champion of champions. Epic. We're back in the seats at the star of the third. Jaguars 19, Jets 7. We moved seats so we can sit next to Drew for a little bit. They're in a slightly cheaper seat. They're actually only like a 5 or $10 difference. But it all comes down to the day that you're buying tickets. The crowd is animated. Defensive stance. Touchdown, Jets. Come back, Cindy. <laughs> Ashley is excited. Somebody got mad and threw a sign. They're ratting him out. There's a flag on the play. We've got double finger pointing. Joe Namath is a sore loser. Jaguars about to score. He's in! My God, the magic is real. Security has taken out some Jets fans for throwing that large cardboard sign. So we are back home from Duval. Um, it was a really fun afternoon. It's been a while since we've gotten out to uh, a football game. I guess maybe a year or so since last season, uh, towards the end of the season with the Bucks. But uh, it's been a really long time since we've had a proper tailgate at. Um, a football game and it was a lot of fun uh, tailgating out in the parking lot 
um, or in the field grass at, as it is at um, TIA Bank Field where the Agricultural Center sits adjacent to the practice field. Um, but nonetheless, fun, fun game. Uh, we had a little incident during the game uh, where um, Mary and I were sitting in the second row of seats in the end zone and um, obviously like resale tickets from somebody, um, which I think, you know, the majority of the um, Jets fans that were there also were uh, there because they bought resale tickets. Uh, but somebody wanted to walk past us in the aisle. The aisles are not very forgiving, so unless you stand up, no one's going to get past. And as I went to stand up to let them get past, they were literally like climbing over me and uh, I ended up bumping into the guy and the guy lost his entire cocktail that he had purchased. Um, and I got up in my face uh, because it was a $20 cocktail, but meanwhile it landed on the people in front of us and I felt incredibly awful. Um, so uh, it was a really awkward experience and I mean, one of those things like when you're a little kid and you want to get up and run away, um, but um, awful. I didn't feel as awful for knocking the drink over because the guy was trying to force his way in, but awful because of the end result with uh, the people in front of us. So uh, that kind of put like a, a twist on the day. That's when we ended up going up and sitting with uh, Drew and, and uh, Ashley. Um, one thing that you guys can take away, and I'm not going to talk forever here, but um, the importance of uh, going to check the, out the Jaguars and the Jets and the similarities. Um, back in the 90s, the Jets had uh, kind of like walk-on player Wayne Krebet. Um, who was always told that he was too short, uh, would never make it as wide receiver, and actually ended up battling with uh, Keyshawn Johnson uh, at the time, uh, a little in-team rivalry, um, but ended up going on to be probably one of the most uh, beloved Jet players in history. Um, and in the Jaguars this year, uh, for those that don't know, they got rid of Blake Bortles, and Blake Bortles, um, in the offseason, they got rid of him. Uh, to make room for Nick Foles. Blake Bortles was kind of like the beloved UCF um, quarterback, um, but uh, they replaced him with Nick Foles, who is due to be the next great big thing for Jacksonville, um, and unfortunately he got injured. And along comes Gardner Minshew, who uh, was a player, and I encourage you guys, if you are not football fans, you would stumble across this video because you watch us normally, or you watch theme park stuff or, or haunt stuff. Um, if you really want some inspiration, Gardner Minshew uh, was a, kind of like a drifting player throughout college, went to four different schools, um, and eked his way into the uh, NFL draft and ended up uh, as the backup for Nick Foles. Um, and everybody kind of just assumed like that was it. When Nick Foles went down, the team was going to go down. Um, but Gardner Minshew has really taken the NFL by storm, um, not only because of the fact that you know he's got an interesting persona, he's a good-looking guy, uh, but he's got a, a like a 1980s mustache and a little soul patch. And wears a bandana, wears cut-off jean shorts, um, catches fish with his bare hands. I mean, the legend of of uh, Minshew will only continue to grow the more success that he has, um, in which he actually has had a lot of success so far. So he's brought a lot of inspiration by the fact of every time that uh, he's interviewed, he's extremely humble. Um, he, you know, basically says, you know, the, the only person in your way of yourself is yourself and you, you got to get out of the way of yourself and believe in yourself and anything that you can do is possible. And we've said that within our channel for a long time. I mean, you know, I'm obviously not the target demographic age of people that uh, get watched on YouTube, but yet, you know, if you believe in what you're doing, people are going to watch and you guys have stuck with us for more than five years and uh, you know it's very much appreciated for, for the audience that we have and the family that we have with the Chief Seats Nation but the story of you know Wayne Corbett back in the day and now fast forward to Gardner Minshew is really inspirational um, so it's something to take away but I would urge you guys to check out um, you know, do a little YouTube search if you're not familiar with him um, and check out uh, you know his his story and and his persona because uh, he's certainly, you know, in an age where there's not a lot of people, I think, t to look up to, um, you know, especially in pro sports, um, he is certainly one of them. So, in any event, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and good night for now. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night, and we'll see you guys.